Fever, knights and ladies, for the second lesson I'll teach the lad some neat moves. Before we get into the lesson, you might also be interested in a great blender add-on that I'm showing you now. Edit preference add-on, and it's called Screencast Keys. This neat module shows what I conjure up on the mouse and keyboard. I won't delay any longer. There is a button for our animation workplace in the top bar. Let's go there. On the left side, we can observe the view undisturbed, without bones or tools. The arena is on the right, and the fourth dimension, the timeline, sprawls below, scaled by number of frames. Now I will work on character animations, I switch to Action Editor. The figure is resting, walking or running. Each gets a separate action. In a story or a game, we create a story from different actions. The first action should be the so-called reset position. That's why I'm starting underscore, because if a program sorts it in a list, it should be first in the list. I select all the bones with the A key then right mouse button, the top in the pop-up menu. I choose the insert keyframe command, stores all the parameters of the bones. I will protect this action with a shield so that it cannot be hurt. In the art of animation, the example to follow is, brains are better than brawn, but both are best. First, we choreograph with keyframes. To create continuous beautiful movements, we enrich it with phase positions. The machine takes care of the rest. The new action button is located on the right side of the shield. I create a rest action called idle. A sane person in this case, in a relaxed straddle position, shifts his center of gravity from one leg to the other, not a tension net like I see in many games. It only makes him look like a madman and not alive. If you listen to me, when you compose the key position, stand up and try it out. If it's comfortable, it's good. If it's uncomfortable, come up with a better one and modify it accordingly. I can start the choreography. There is a record button at the bottom of the timeline. The record button is convenient. It takes care of it automatically about using the insert key command. I move any part of the figure's body, it stores the parameters of the body part for the time specified by the slider. Everyone should pay close attention that the time slider is in the right place and only move it afterwards. It is best to have a schedule in advance. Do as I do, I don't move the time slider until you like the whole posture. Almost good now, I move her hips back. I tried it myself, it's more comfortable to stand that way. With Ctrl plus A key combination, now I select all bones. At the bottom of the time bar, all the insert keys are displayed. With Ctrl plus C key combination, all parameters are temporarily copied to the clipboard. Move the time slider to frame 60. With Ctrl plus V key combination, we paste all the parameters. Since the parameters of 1 and 60 are the same, move the slider to frame 120. And now we use the Shift plus Ctrl plus V key combination. Blender, in this case mirrored, inserts the parameters. Between frames 60 and 120, the center of gravity of the figure is moved. If they made his figure as you saw it from me in my A Modest Fellow video, the symmetrical construction was successful. Blender can mirror the figure's posture on the figure's axis of symmetry. The young man's center of gravity is now on his left leg. His right leg is the so-called light leg with which he can step. His left leg remains in place. I drag the key of his left leg to the middle of 60 and 120, i.e. frame 90. I select the left spur when only his key remains alone in the timeline. I'm pushing it. He is still shuffling to his right foot. I choose the right spur. Copy the key of the right leg to 90. C to L plus C.
and simple Citarel Plus V. With this, we have achieved the goal of changing legs at frame 90. Two leg lifts are required. His right leg at frame 75. Left leg at frame 105. Did they observe that I don't grind the movement from beginning to end? But as I said before, I will halve the key positions where necessary. My knights and ladies call these movements rare tempo in Hungarian. And now, the rare tempo to the right has succeeded. Thanks to the symmetrical structure, it only takes a moment to conjure up a rare tempo to the left, so we get a loop relaxing action. We select all keys of all bones and put it on the clipboard with the Ctrl plus C key combination. Move the slider to the 120th frame. We paste the keys with Shift plus Ctrl plus V key combination. You can check the tempo with the play button. Do you like it? In the last century, we still used the line test machine for this. Mine is an Amiga 1200 volt with Ketskomet's Furka means scrawl program. That would be a good tempo for sunrise chants. In my country, a traditional wedding lasts three days. At dawn, we greet the rising sun with such beautiful slow songs. In the splendor of the holiday, we take it back. We make faster ordinary movements. I use the stretching function. Top bar. The red summary is a special bar. Integrates the entire list in one row. Can be comfortably through this handle the columns. I select the columns on summary. I define the epicenter of the operation with the slider. I define a radius with the mouse pointer. With the S hotkey. I start the strack operation. If I'm satisfied with the result, I finish the stretching with the left button. This is how we play with tempo like a rubber band. We want to slow down. We stretch the lane. We want to speed it up. We make it tight. It's still slow. He is now very tense and nervous. Well, this will be good. So comfortable and airy. It got my attention. The boy looks tense because his neck is stiff and his head doesn't move. Let's move him. At some point, let's turn his head this way or that way. Observe, take a look.
If we have a couple of keys, we can copy them. Let's check how it shows with the play button. He moves a lot, so I feel like he wants to say something. I'll make the keys rare. I get the right effect. Still a lot, maybe even rarer. It's quite rare, but it's already weak. Let it be this rare, but stronger. A little more and I manage my time better. It was enough to steal God's beautiful day. With rest, step, he who steps moves, he who moves will arrive one day. That's good. I also turn on the shield for idle action. I also begin the action of the walker, name it 02 underline walk. I'm thinking that... Aha! This is the 90th frame, this should be a good start. All bones are selected. I use the insert key command, I delete everything else, drag it to the first frame. I can save the first frame to the clipboard Catrell plus C. I copy its mirror to the 20th frame shift, plus Catrell plus V, and the original to the 40th frame, Catrell plus V. The frame of the cycle is ready. Now the figure is fun and bouncy. I make the key in the middle of frames 1 and 20, i.e. in frame 10 I place both feet of the figure on the ground. When I'm interested in the whole walk, I want to test the 10th frame of this. I put it on the clipboard and copy the mirror to the 30th frame with shift plus Catrell plus V. Don't forget to deal with the figure's arms. Choreograph only on the 10th frame, just copy on the 30th frame. It's not a big deal if the right foot is in front, the right arm is behind, the left arm is in front, the hands move in opposite rhythm when running or walking, it doesn't matter. Let's see the first test. The figure's gait now resembles that of a basketball player, I'm still working on it. Again, I advise you to sometimes stand up and imitate your own figure. If you like the movement, it's good. If it's uncomfortable, discover for yourself where the mistake is. In a production, the animator is the actor. Second test, you can see that I have narrowed the lane in which the figure is walking, his elbows also moved wide. It's good. It's like a teddy bear, that is. He bends forward and a little and drives the flies with his hands. 
The bones of the pole of the elbow are not in a good enough place. The inverse kinematics is wrong because of it. The forearm twitches. Well, maybe it's quite solid, a bit like someone walking in the market square and browsing among the merchandise. This will be good. The lad can already behave. With these modest abilities, we will do a test in the Unity development environment. Let's see how he thrives in it. I started the Unity Hub. I want a fat new project. Fat new, Hungarian term for when something is so new that it still has the material used to polish the item, say the foil is on it. Subscribe and comment below the video if you want a video on how to install Unity. Also for which operating system. Now you see the Linux version. Because this is a fat new model and fat new animation, it's worth trying it out now. It doesn't take too much effort, it's painless. If you need to modify it, it's much easier to correct mistakes. The development environment has started. The project panel will be at the bottom left. Right mouse button on the assets directory. In the pop-up menu, select folder in the create submenu. We make a directory for the FBX export file. Don't worry, I use many workspaces of Linux. I cruise to the left so I can get back to Blender. In the layer panel, two things from the entire collection should be selected. Hero Armature and the Hero Mesh. In the upper left file menu, select export and fbx.fbx in the submenu. A file list will open. Let's go to our user directory in the Unity directory, in the directory of our project. There we will find the assets directory and in it the FBX directory we created, select it. On the right, we limit the exporter to the selected objects. Apply the FBX scale unit. The Y axis should be forward, up is Z, smoothing should be face. All other default settings remain. I named it hero.fbx. The export can start. I'll cruise back to Unity. I open the FBX directory in the project panel and find our hero there. I'll drag and drop it onto the hierarchy panel. Our modest fellow refrigerator appears in the arena in white. Go to the scene panel if it is not selected. What should be noted is that two key combinations, the F key, puts the selected object in the focal point. The other is alt -E plus left mouse button plus mouse movement. You can walk around the figure like a blender. The rest is very easy to figure out. I move the camera to the left side of the figure and turn it on the figure. In games, you have to use resources carefully, you have to make a more optimal material than blenders. What can be calculated in advance before running the game must be calculated for texture, so don't waste computing capacity while playing. In the Assets folder, next to the FBX folder, I also open a Material folder and then create a common material in this Material folder. Once we're here, don't click anywhere else, let's create a folder for the pictures as well. So picture. I bring a file manager and find the PNG image, copy it to the clipboard, go to the assets picture directory of our project and paste it. Correct. Unity has already detected and listed the image. I choose the common material. The inspector panel of the material appeared on the right panel. Find the small square next to the albedo. Take your image and drop it there. Next movement, throw the common material from the left side to the figure. The embers have returned to its eyes, and the breath has returned to its bosom. In Hungarian, embers mean humane, but embers also mean life. Because those who live inhale oxygen, life glows inside, so we exhale carbon dioxide. Now we select the hero. On the inspector panel lists animations under clip. Tipos, idle and walking too. It can be watched all the way through. We stay in the inspector, but select the model button. Check the bake axis conversion, then apply the settings. 
If everything was done as I showed, the figure makes a backward face, that's correct. It turned because the shaft conversion was working correctly. The nagging of the lamp is optional, but it is nicer if it shines on the figure's face rather than its back. Now that I've had fun, the picture is pretty bright. Select the hero and select the rig button on the inspector panel. Under a heading that says avatar definition, select create from this model. Apply the setting. A small puppet icon hero avatar is created on the left side of the project panel. Believe me, we're making progress. Now let's work on the hierarchy panel. The project panel is the warehouse where we store the raw material. The hierarchy panel is a workshop where we assemble the raw materials and install gadgets and components. Now in the hierarchy panel, we mount a capsule collider on the heroes in the add component. Let's start typing and slowly what we want will crystallize. If we have it, we can select it. Turn on the edit button here. It's good when the little spider appears on top of the sphere. Grab it and pull it up to the top of the figure's head. I get a sphere in the origin. Now comes a tip mix game. I increase it vertically and adjust it to the figure. That will be good. The figure is 1.8 meters high. The capsule can be two meters high and the center can be one meter high on the Y axis. ta Now the figure will become a player. This component is the rigid body. A similar 1.8 meter guy weighs about 70 kilograms. Let's write that much. We have a player. Now come the world in which he can stay alive. Let's create a folder called World in Assets. It occurred to me, let's move the figure higher. There should be a height from which he can fall. There is also a modest possibility to model in Unity. It is worth getting to know this a bit. Let's request a simple cube in the hierarchy. Let's practice. Let's make a few more materials materials let's make a soil add a brown color to its albedo we're ready to roll the dice it occurs to me to rename the cube as well let it be soil you can make a duplicate with the key combination CTRL plus D. I will rename the copy to grass. Let's also make grass material. I choose a spinach green. If you have it. Now I prefer to throw on the grass on the hierarchy panel. In this case, the target is not clear. The depth is equal. In such cases, it is better to work in the list. On the grass cube inspector panel, I scale it to a flat board. It should be scaled a little larger along the X and Z axis, approximate 1.1, and low on the Y axis, approximate 0.1. Then I push it up. It covers the soil. We made a lawn brick. We take the grass on the hierarchy panel and throw it on the soil cube. I installed it as an element. Soil will be the parent and its child will be the grass. From now on in this package, you can duplicate and build the playground. Put a copy of it in the world folder. Make it available in the warehouse. In Unity, this template is called a prefabricated element, prefab for short. Did you notice that when the template became a prefab, its icon changed from a wireframe to a filled icon, indicating that it is treated as a prefab. Now I drop the prefab into the scene from the world folder. Of course, you can never place the elements correctly in a perspective view in the upper left corner of the scene. 
You can manipulate the view with a very similar coordinate system to Blender to get factual views. If this doesn't work in the prefab hierarchy inspector of the template either, you can type in the correct value using the keyboard. The correct height on the y-axis is 0.5. In this case, if the x and y axes are correct, you can build nicely along the z-axis with the ctrl plus d duplicating command. That will be enough for now. To make it a bit more adventurous, I will position the figure higher. Above the scene panel is the start button. Let's see what will happen inside it. It switches to the game view, and as our figure falls, the ground holds it as I wanted. When it works like this, stop it. Create a script folder in Assets, and ask Unity for a C-sharp source code in this file. His name is Hero. I am a wild boar inspector from Bakoni, who is not Mommy's little soldier. He comes with me into the wild oak forest. He fights with the goblins with me. I have to write a C-sharp class. The character should not only be handsome, but also strong and cunning like a wild boar. Around here, they say that anyone who wants to play the bagpipes must go to hell. There you can learn it. Only then can you play the kind of music that hums in the background. If we select the script, Unity opens a program editor. I have several on my machine. Unity automatically found and started it. But my channel already has a video on how to install it on the machine. Unity has kindly typed for us the most important parts of the source, which only need to be expanded with magic words. Unity created a public hero class for us with two member functions. I'm trying to tell a story so that anyone can understand what I'm writing even someone who has never programmed before. At the end of the video, there is a screen save where you can copy it all at once. If something fails, write a comment under the video, then I can help. And if you subscribe, you will be notified of my new videos. Yellow curly braces delimit our class and we get two member functions, start and update. The start is the door of our train car, where we get on and can pack our luggage. Above the door, the green inscription behind the double slash is only an information board, information about it. The door is only open before departure, our car is a dining car. Update is the barmaid's counter. When we are hungry or thirsty, we can ask for food and drink and talk to the barmaid. Private Rigid Body PRB. PBR will be the abbreviation of Get Component Less Rigid Body Bigger, initialized in the start. Public Bool B Floor. A switch should be true when standing on the floor. PRB should be equal to get component rigid body. So as I said, the word PBR is an abbreviation for the next nice long phrase, get component less rigid body bigger brackets. Without PBR, you would have to write this every time. Floor should be equal to false. We simply delete it. Private float move be equal to 0f comma. JMP should be equal to 0F2 temporary containers for the input devices, specifically the controllers for the move and jump management sensors. Float is a container capable of storing real numbers. Move should be equal to input.getAxis brackets, vertical multiply by now I had the idea, I'll make another F storage. The value of the sensors can be controlled with a single value. Sorry, back to the functions JMP should be equal to input.getAxis brackets, jump multiply by F. Fix update is a member function similar to start or update. We have to add this. Start only runs once when the figure starts. Update runs before each frame is drawn. This fix update runs for every frame, but before update, so now the order will be start once. 
Fix update runs before the physical calculations. Update after input events and draw after. If brackets the sum of the square of Merv and the square of JMP is equal to 0F return. This is a condition, if the sum of Merv and JMP is semi, then we leave the function, it will not do anything. I calculate with their square so that the negative value does not outweigh the positive one. JMP plus 1, the point is that we always need a little jump, even if we are moving forward. PRB dot add force brackets. Vector 3 dot forward multiply by MUV. Plus vector 3 dot up multiply by JMP, comma. Force mode dot velocity change. From the figure's forward vector and upward vector to the direction of the resulting vector proportional to move and JMP, we flick the figure. So we poke the figure, the figure will be in the air, we delete the switch on the floor. Void on collision enter, between brackets. Collision C function will be called by the physics engine if the figure touches something on the playing field. The point is that we only turn B floor back on when the figure touches the floor again. Debug.log brackets. Plaques. We can also write out the event in a list. This is a very good thing for troubleshooting. The error is not always visible, or we notice it too late. A list helps a lot. If you typed it correctly in VS Code, save it with the Keytrail plus S combination. After saving, if you go back to Unity, you will see the progress indicator of the compiler. Now grab the script icon on the project panel and drop it on the hero in the hierarchy. The panel of our script will appear among the components on the supervisor panel. If the location screen is not the console selected, select it. Let's launch it. He falls to the ground and writes, plaques. If you press the space key or the jump button on the joystick, you will make a big jump. It was quite successful. It jumped off the screen. I'll put the arm back. Let's see more. It's a good thing that I invented this F. Let's write it back to one. That'll be enough. Let's press carefully for now. It still works like the flappy bird. I will modify it. The point is, we can only move when the figure is in contact with the ground. We add a little to the capsule. If brackets physics dot overlap sphere brackets on floor dot position ruler 0.1f ruler player msk dot length equal to zero return. So we need an on floor. If it's not on the ground, don't even ask the controller. Serialize field public transform on floor be equal to null. Null is important, let's say it. This null means empty. It is also important that it is public, because the public members appear in the inspector panel. Let's go back to the hero in the hierarchy panel and right-click. Select Create Empty in the pop-up menu. Empty will be created in the hero. It's also called On Floor. I put it a little lower than the capsule. Cool. 
korábban érzékelem, mint a So we drop the on-floor icon on the inspector panel in the on-floor square of the script component. Ouch! He still goes to heaven. It can be seen there on the inspector panel on the height counter. Of course, because in fix update, move and JMP must be emptied if they have been used. As you can see, several variables can be emptied in one row. JMP will first be zero, then the value of JMP will be entered in MOV, and so on. Platz, platz, platz. Before they crawl, I make a couple of fall arresters. Don't go to hell. In the end, there will be a bagpipe. The empty object is good for many things. Now I'm putting all the soil in it, and this will be the first level. It worked. I didn't want to miss the joke that it would fall on its face. If you don't want to write balancing, you can turn off the rotation in the rigid body using freeze rotation. Sorry, I'm changing the settings of the code editor. More text can fit on it. Those variations should make it easier to jump out of the hole. Let's use F, write it back to 3. We don't need the best game right now, we need animations. Subscribe now, don't miss out. Aha, we don't have an anim control folder yet. I do it in assets. We create an animator component in the anim CTRL folder. Let it be hero CTRL. For the sake of variety, we will program again, only this time with a graphical interface. We need to edit a diagram of the hero FBX animations. I put the hero armature idle, and walk cycles in the base layer of the animator window. Then I connect it with the make transition command from the pop-up menu. We select our hero on the hierarchy panel. I start, aha, it won't start yet. Yes, by the way, drop Heroctral into the animator component controller box on the hero's inspector panel. Let's see, has started. Okay, it doesn't yet know when to play which animation, it plays both in sequence. A little more programming is required. You'll need another one, animator anim, member.
one private string cursed at member. In the start function anim should be equal to get component less animator bigger brackets. This is the case just like the rigid body, sorry, anim should also be p anim. Now I'm writing my own member function that I'll use for that, only then change the animation if your name changes. So, void change animation state brackets string new stat the code in curly bracket. Brackets if barkets cursed at same new stat return. If the name is the same, we leave the function. So if the animation gets the same name, it continues the old one. If the animation has changed, we store its name. Cursed at equal new stat. P anim dot play brackets new stat. We will use my member function in update. I recommend a simple solution. We ask the figure's speed. If it is standing, it plays the idle cycle. If it moves, it runs the walking cycle. You must enter its full name, i.e. if the speed is greater than zero. Hero armature stroke 02 underline walk is played otherwise, if equal to zero. Hero armature stroke 01 underline walk is played. You can see it in the animator base layer. If I move the figure, it switches to the walk cycle. If I leave it alone, the idle cycle works. I think we are ready for today. I hope I helped you navigate through the multitude. Subscribe. Use it with health. I'll be back soon with new content. It might be long, but I wanted to give an overview first. Shorter and more detailed videos are coming. The video was fine. Go in peace. At the end, I will put the source code in a screenshot. You can copy it. Hey, uh,